water running? Yep. So this is the area that we're looking at uh, to facilitate training for the uh, up and coming uh, apprenticeship. What we're trying to do is get a pre-employment uh, program set up in this facility, have a little sweep around, and uh, going forward, trying to get a better product going into Red River College for, for the contractors, so they got a better product for members to work with. So going forward, uh, we'll be in discussion with Gus and uh, the MMCA, and Rob, I think, is now the president, and we'll be having a discussion Hopefully that they will be on board with uh, the new type of training that we're looking for for the future within the next year, hopefully, fingers crossed. Now, how about with how kids and stuff? You were also talking about students. They're bringing, bringing students, students through here, here uh, through this after. I'll show you the area where we're gonna have a tri-trade. And the tri-trade area, uh, they'll have several classes coming through per day, um, a lot through the summer as well, just to get students introduced to the actual program. So hopefully, uh, well, I know that's going to be successful. Just to see if they really want to be in this kind of position to do the work that we do. But again, with that, with the pre-employment program and program in place here, uh, then we can better supply confident people to do the job confident, that we need yeah, them that, to that do. Are at least skilled in because some way. Because I was one choose. that came through. Yeah, I came through pre-employment, and so did a lot of other guys. Steve Egan is another one. Yeah. Uh, Harold Zane is another one. And these are all guys that became foremen later on because they when they walked on the job as a pre-employment met a person they were able to do the functionality of a mason their expectations close. were set at the beginning and, they can, and so. the savings for the contractor is there as well because now you're hiring a guy who's an apprentice and he's almost on board doing what uh, uh, a journeyman can do with not the with worry. understanding he needs to learn more of the principle but he has the functionality of the bricklayer that's why we're trying to get going. Give here. the and basics, back to the basics. Let's absolutely. talk about the whole. And, and, and exactly, and yeah. being functional on the job. Putting in a, you know, a proper amount of units so that the company can they make money too. They understand what the expectations absolutely. are at that level and that's right the, there. That's the selling yeah. feature, is to make it so that these guys, these guys know that they have to be profitable on both sides, for themselves and their families and for the company. It's it's a dual-edged sword. You have to, if, without the company, you don't have the guy. So There's it is nothing. what it is. So we have a choice. And how about with regard to uh, uh, shops, classes, and schools? How are they looking at? Uh, they're bringing those guys in. I mean, they're bringing we're not, in shops, students. This absolutely, is kind the students. Of, this the really students ages, ages will range from like nine years old. Love it. Right, Beautiful. Right to uh, 11, 12. Well, you know, we build a passion at a young enough age. We can give a kid some hope in the future that something that they really like to do, and give them options. Right. Well, this, right is, now, this is the idea. This is why we're, we're limited. This is why we have this this facility. Yeah. Is to go forward with you know pre-employment and expectations for new you know construction people to come in and get them when they're young give them an idea see if they have an interest and with that interest we flourish and this is the whole idea for our trade to make us stronger to make uh, the construction industry as a whole better so we'll see Fantastic, I mean, it looks really good. Well, a lot of space in here, man. Yeah, we've got a big, a big area. I mean, it don't, this is all trades. This is not just my area. This would be, a, we have our own little area, but we'll have electricians will be in here, operator engineers will be in here, Lyon is in here, uh, sheet metal will be in here. I mean, every trade that's possible. Carpentry, hopefully, will be in here. Carpentry, too? Yeah, hopefully. And uh, every trade should be in this one facility eventually. Wow. It seems like there's enough room in here. Does this? How far does this go back? Like you got that uh, MBTI. We have a big area back in this area here too. We have another storage area on that side, and we also have a back area here. Let's have a little walk. And you showed me all the train. You have five training rooms in here too. There's, there's five classrooms right now, set up with computers and uh, and uh, whiteboards, so smart whiteboards, smart boards. And whiteboard, smart board, so that guys can come in and and do their training here. And that again is that's where we, this is where we'll be doing all our training from now on. For you know, aerial lift platform, fall protection, the, Wimis, yeah, you got everything that's scissor you know, lift and aerial work have, platform. Yes, we have everything. Very here. cool. And everything is brand fall arrest. new. Fall arrest. Fall arrest is beautiful. Well, yes. Nice job. Wow. So we're looking forward to it, anyways. Here's another storage, another storage area that can be. Holy used. smoke! This and you, could be a, this could be our own little separate area by itself if we wanted. All this area back in here too is all accessible for pre-employment courses, a setup area, classroom. So. Again, this is the whole idea of getting together into a, a, a big facility so that we can... Common. They all have one the, common uh, goal. 
It's it's the goal of uh, plant the seeds. Yeah, everybody's got the same sort of vision. Absolutely. Fantastic. This is great. Nice mixer. Yeah. Nice yeah, saw this is, too. This is stuff that we're getting ready to do. Uh, we'll be setting up the uh, tri trades area, and that should be set up within the next two to three weeks. Okay. When I'm done that, I'll have Tony come in and have a little look, and he can take and show you exactly what's what. Mm -hmm. But for the MMCA, all of our, our guys there, the contractors, I want you guys to come down and have a look at the facility when we're ready to go. And uh, hopefully you're on board with the pre-employment program that I'm really looking forward to instilling. Right so on. this is only to make it better for us and you. Just be aware that I'm trying to do this best for all of us. Anyway, I'm done. Take care.